Hello there. In QuickBooks, uh, we have various list of uh, reports that you acknowledge to know, required to know. In this case, uh, these are some of the list, but I'll just highlight some of those few reports that you can see there in that list. As you can see, we have a very big list of uh, reports, but I need to just measure with a few of them. I need to start with this one for the sales. You need to know what kind of a sales report you need to give. We have the day, daily sales uh, detail, which you have been selling. The, we have them for the graph. We have them as by customers, so that you can know which customer is your most frequent uh, customer, and uh, which are most a customer who is maybe uh, inactive because maybe you come just once in a blue moon that is uh, between the, the active customer and an inactive customers uh, but in my case let me just see my daily sales detailed in this case I can just click there once you click there you get it is blank because today I have not done any transaction in this case let me just click there and see now I need for the financial uh, year to date I need to see the report of entire daily up to the end of the year now you can see the transaction have become as many as possible you can see just at that date there click the financial or quarter or weekly up to date we have variety of them you can just choose there me for me i have chosen financial year to date you can see as per my date there and you can see the transaction and in this transaction you can see the sales receipt which was being transacted in different uh, areas we have the search in computer college Dell sales details detailed as uh, from february up to october uh, those are around uh, eight months you can see the transaction there for different products as for those one and uh, being uh, as different customers so that you can see now the the transaction the payment and you have the vat which have been exempted and which have not exempted you can see that is the list of uh, employees. Uh, you can see those are uh, the list of employees, uh, the list of sorry, uh, the list of customers, and now that is the head of my uh, my total. You have you can see now the total for this one. It means my product, which is now uh, worthy this amount. That is the amount that uh, my product uh, worthy as for this. Uh, on the other hand, you can see see that report and you have another uh, reports which have uh, still talking about the same we have the for example another uh, uh, sales uh, by item detail that is for say data sales and you have the sales by item detailed you can just click there you can see still blank just click there and choose financial year to date and now you can see my product so that you can know the kind of a list of your, your products there you can see now there is a sales by type uh, detailed you can see the product which has been sold more times and you can see the quantity on hand and uh, we have the selling price and we have the amount and the balances which is there you can just scroll and see more uh, in that list you can see we have more list of items and services still. You can see we have because the item of sales and we have the total service which is now that amount and you can see the total softwares among others you can just see how they have been classified in different uh, categories you can see how they have been classified uh, there is more uh, more writers for the stock let me see the stock you need to know the stock valuation detailed either by item or by by different status let me choose like for example stock variation detailed there and now uh, you can choose financial year to date and you choose financial year to date now you can see the list of your product uh, as per variation the quantity on hand you can see and some of the item which uh, maybe you have sold, uh, you have gotten the money, uh, but, but you have not delivered. That is where you can see some of them are negative because they are through so that you can know how many items you uh, which are remaining, which is our 63 items, is the one which is remaining as the total item in your company. And they will require to order for more items because you can see there are some customers who have ordered but they have not been delivered. That is where they are negative. That is the total amount 
for those with three items which is now almost close to a million shillings that is how you get those reports and once you get that report you can choose to print you can choose to email or you can choose to export may I choose to export just click export then once you click export you see now it is a new excel workbook or existing workbook in my case is a new one just click export you can see the information and now you just see it is loading and you expect now the result which is now in the down uh, which is the taskbar you can just click there and you can see it have been exported to excel book 2 you can just click save that workbook and you save that workbook now with the name which is now the search M courage reports uh, so once you click that you save with that name now you can just click what just click save this is how you save once you save you can just come here you do renaming this one is for for about uh, sales variation detail uh, stock variation detail just put stock uh, variation detail and once you save that one and uh, now you can just click uh, close and now click save as you save you go back to a uh, quickbooks again and now you can see another report we have more reports for example i need to look for reports for company and financials we have profit and loss account uh, detailed report we have you need to know whether your company is making a profit or a loss in this case we have still about the net worth graph and you have the statement of the cash flows the cash flow forecast and we have income and expense graph so that you can know where your income and expense uh, should have a different uh, amount but you expect to have more income uh, more than uh, and less expense to manage your business well let's click profit and loss detailed and now you can see my profit and loss detail for the financial year you can see that is as from february you can see they have the list of items i've been selling and some of the transactions i've been made i've been making this uh, let me just go down 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 and see some of those main transactions because that is the one reflect and we have even expense for the employees paid and now you can see we have the profit of the year where yeah, by this profit of the year you can see the profit of the year here it is 95,731 uh, shillings plus that one cents in this case that the profit of the year as for that company in case you have a negative figure it means you have made a loss so that's how you manage your company and you can still export uh, once you click export because you have a new workbook just click new existing then click browse once you click browse just check in your documents where you saved your you saved your workbook uh, you should remember the name of a workbook you saved in and now you can look um, search them you have uh, we have this one for search M courage reports now click open once you click open you just load and give you that one then you click export now so that you can export the existing uh, to that still existing uh, uh, report for the workbook now you can see we have this where well, by now you can see the stop variation detailed and you have this one for PNL profit and loss and just like uh, PNL or put uh, profit you can put uh, profit and uh, loss detail and once you put that one for that uh, worksheet and you can just close and you want to save click save 
that's how you create a report uh, for that now you can see you have made a, that uh, profit let's go to company financials i look more reports here we have like a report for the balance sheet uh, it is very crucial to look now the for the balance sheet uh, profit and loss among others we have many of them just let me look balance sheet detailed this balance sheet detailed you can see the area is a bit different the date it was being transacted and the time uh, this is for the month you can just look for the entire year which is now financial year to date once you click that one you can see now we have the categories for the fixed assets uh, we have uh, for the depositions and we have more of them but in this case you need to do refresh you need to do some refresh once you are through with that one and now see now the other transaction as per this you can just scroll there down and you see some of those transactions you have been doing and how they have been uh, transacted there are many of them just scroll them scroll them and see how they are because there are many of them you can see those transaction up to the shareholder funds you can see the profit of the year still it is indicated there in that uh, in that one and you have the shareholder funds as per this one that is the what you call a balance sheet you can still export the same or in case you don't want to export just close and go to another report those are just few reports you have uh, looked for among other reports you can still go on with them thank you we are such am kenya continue viewing our video tutorial videos you'll be very grateful and don't forget to subscribe tutorial downloads